back all right so what I left off on from the first day is I was setting up the data model and pieces that I was partially done with that now in today's pretty much this should be the final piece the run through the MVP of this final product that I need to do to calculate my deals much faster the deal analysis app today's the day when it's gonna get finished I need to finish up the, the, the final pieces of the data model also need to do the automation pieces well, I'm gonna finish up that data model piece so I can get that out of the way. So when the automation pieces that I need to do, I can reference those fields properly. And yeah, I can, I don't have to worry about data modeling as I'm building the automation. All right, so let me get into that now. Ooh. X, O E, G O I, all that stuff is great. Looking great. So, but other than that, so now I'm gonna get some automation pieces onto this project. And this is the last bit. Like one of the things I want to do is like, for instance, if the monthly was you know inputted, then I will automatically want this to be times by 12 for the annually. That's one of the things I'm gonna be doing. The same thing and vice versa. So like if this was inputted, then I wanna calculate the monthly. Like stuff like that to make it super easy where I don't have to like, you know, do it by hand or use a calculator and some additional stuff. So like I'm also going to be calculating the cash flow and also the net operating income as well. Because I have all my elements for this. I think one of the things too is whenever, you know, certain records change as well, like the cash flow and the net operating income should change as well. So like if I change something on the operating expense, then it should do some recalculation of the net operating income and also the cash flow. So I might develop a APEX class for that, or maybe one of the things I'm probably just gonna do is essentially just make a flow out of it. So I'm gonna have a flow that does the calculations for the monthly and the annually, like whenever those things change, but also then I'm gonna have a little sub flow possibly, or maybe just a, a APEX class. I'm gonna go declarative as much as possible with this one. Cause I know I can do it very easily with an APEX class and just call it and get it invoked it from the flow, but I'm gonna go declaratively as much as possible. So, I don't have to maintain the code afterwards because declarative, like you can just make quick changes and you don't have to worry about writing test classes and you know push things through. So next time I see you, I'm gonna be done with the automation and the cash flow is gonna be calculated, the NOI is gonna be calculated. I'm gonna be done temporarily because there's other metric stuff that I wanna calculate for a deal. These are the most beginning metric stuff that I need to calculate. Yeah, it's gonna be very important vital for these pieces because it's going to essentially allow me to calculate other stuff that are, you know, very important metrics over time, time value of money. Let me get on that. Break time. So I actually ran into an issue. So what it looks like all the flow stuff that I did in regards to the trigger stuff is not working. But as far as the automation of the auto launch flow, that one's working, calculating the net operating income and also the cash flow. So that's working, that's great. So I just gotta figure out this trigger thing with the flow. Why is that not working? If not, then I think I'm just gonna convert everything to code to Apex and just do it that way and just call it a day because, yeah, maybe, maybe, actually, maybe I should figure this out because this is something like new relatively to me. I've dealt with trigger flows before, but I never dealt with like a scheduled path trigger flow. And this is something new, new functionality to me. So I just gotta figure that out. 
if the trigger flow is too complicated to figure out right away because as you can see it's super simple come on look at this look at this look at this like literally look at this two elements just two elements that's all it is the the sub flow that i did see let's check this out pretty simple stuff right there but you know the recalculated one that one's working great it is like the most complicated one is working great but now the simplest one is not working so crazy so like i said like i'm gonna try to you know check it out see which one's gonna be is actually causing the issue which is i think is the trigger flow so i gotta figure out if i need to recreate it or change some configurations of it or i'm just gonna like i said go with custom code because it's a headache uh, i'm just trying to do like mvp i'm gonna try to figure that out but tonight i'm going to sleep and i'm gonna try to figure this last piece out for the automation and i start trying to do more than eight hours it's a hackathon right here hackathon through this thing so yeah you know see you next time it's demo day